Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make this animation with using After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and first one, I want to show layers. First layer grid, this for background. Let's go to solo. Click this icon for black background. Okay, and select layer sun, shadow, online store, store green, search, search icon, lines, products, cloud one, two, three, plants, shopping bag, legs, hand two, body, hand one. Let's first select this layer hand one and go to solo and go to puppet pin tool. Let's add one puppet here one here and one here calculation tool and go to window open to uk angela if you have not to uk angela i will add the link on the description below and in this time select this puppet and go to click this icon as you can see here add pins let's click and click ignore and waiting for building rig okay so we have three pins let's see okay and right now i will make ik rigging for control this hand select puppet pin 3 link to puppet pin 2 select puppet pin 2 link to puppet pin 1 and select puppet pin 1 link to layer body and select these three puppets go to do you Angela, click auto rig click ignore here we go we have already IK rigging for this hand very good and go to icon, we can change icon size like this. Okay, very good. And let's unsolo these layers. And this control layer. Let's see. Very good. And select this another hand, hand layer 2. Go to solo and go to puppet pin tool. Add one puppet here, one here, and less one here. Calculation tool. Go to add pin click ignore okay select puppet pin 3 again link to 2 select 2 link to 1 and select puppet pin 1 link to body and select 3 puppet pins go to auto rig click here click ignore nice let's see okay very good let's unsolo all of the layers and this Okay, and go to icon, change icon size. So in this time, select this layer body, go to anchor point, move the anchor point down. Calculation tool, press R, open rotation, let's see. Okay, very good. So in this time, let's select this hand control one, let's change name hand one and this hand two select hand one and let's move the down this hand and press p let's create new parts in keyframe and go to 10 keyframes for shortcut you can press hold shift press page down in keyboard and let's move the hand up select keyframes make it easy let's see Okay, and let's go to 10 seconds. Press N in keyboard for select work area. Okay, and go to 5 keyframes and create new pass in keyframe. Go to again 10 keyframes. Let's move to like this. Go to again 10 keyframes. Move to left for select or click this product. Let's see. Okay, and go to three keyframes for go to frame by frame keyframes. Use page down keyboard. One, two, three. Let's move to back for bounce animation. Go to three keyframes. One, two, three. Move to here. Let's see. Okay, so we have problem with last three keyframes. Select all keyframes. Right mouse keyframe interpolation. Change curve setting to linear. Click OK. Nice, and go to Graph Editor, 
let's see let's play graphs select this first shift frame move to left and this move to right okay that's good and back to G frames select last four G frames move to left and last three G frames move to left very good and in this time select this body press R and create new rotation G frame go 10 G frames and go to 10 G frames change 3 nice this more dynamic and natural Okay, and go to here again. Let's create new rotation two frame. Go change two frames, change minus three, and go to next two frame here. Change zero, and make it easy. Let's see. Okay, very nice. And in this time, let's add bounce for natural animation. Select this body, hold shift, press P. And let's create new pass in keyframe. Go to middle and move to down for bounce animation. Go to next keyframe, select first keyframe, copy pass, and make it easy. Let's see. Nice. And go to here, select these three keyframes, copy and control V. Hold Alt, move to right. Nice, very good. Select this body, go to solo for C details. Let's see. Okay, very good. Let's unsolo. Nice, I like it. And go to back. Select this shopping bag. And let's go to solo. Move the anchor point up. Classification tool. And unsolo, let's link to hand controller tool. Okay, select hand two. Let's see. Okay, not bad. And first, let's press P, create new passing two frame, and go to here. And let's move it up. And make it easy. Go to middle, and move it up. Okay, select two frames. Hold Alt, move to right for more slow animation. And here, let's create new passing Q frame. Go to here and move to left. And move up. Very good. And go to back. Let's move to right and move to down. Okay, this more natural and dynamic character animation. And in this time, select these layer clouds. And let's press P, create new pass in keyframe. Go to here, three seconds. And move to right. And this move to left. And this move to right also. Nice, select this layer cloud two. Let's move to behind of store layers. So in this time, let's go to up and go to layer new and null object. And let's hold control, double click pen behind the for move the anchor point center, classification tool. And I will use this null object for fake camera movements. Let's add camera. So in this time, select these character layers and make it composition. Okay, right mouse and pre-compose. Add name character. Click OK. Let's see. Okay. And select all of them layers with that background link to camera. Select camera. Let's see. Okay. And go to here. In this time, let's press P, create new person two frame for camera and go to five two frames and move it up. Select two frames, make it easy. Go to graph editor, select these. First graph, move to right for slow animation. Nice. Back to two frames, select last two frame, move to right for more slow animation. 
Okay, and in this time, select this layer clouds to grid. This is new scene layers and enable and move the up. And select this hand main, go to pen behind icon, move the anchor point here, classification tool, and select hand back, link to hand main, select hand green, also link to hand main, select hand main, and press S, change scale, and move it down. Select this layer shape, let's move to here. And in this time, let's select hand main, press R, and change rotation like this. Okay, and select these all of them layers for new scene and move to right. In this time, select hand main. Let's change rotation. And let's create new rotation keyframe. Go to 10 keyframes, change like this. Go to 10 keyframes again, change 2 and 10 keyframe, change minus 1. Again, 10 keyframe, change 0. And make it easy. Select work area. Nice. And go to back. Let's hold shift press S, create scale shift frame, go to back and change scale zero. Okay, and in this time hold shift press P, create new passing keyframe, move to right and this move to down. Okay, that's good. So in this time select this blue card and press P. Let's move up. Let's create new passing keyframe. Go to here and move it down. Say keyframes, make it easy. Go to graph editor and make smooth graph. And change graph like this. Okay, so select these coin layers and go to first second. Press R and create new rotation keyframes. Go to last second. And change this two and this one. Let's see. Nice. Select this cloud layer. Let's press P and create new passing keyframe. Go to here and move to left. And this layer, let's change color fill to yellow for use like this. Okay, select this cloud. Let's move to here. Or move to right and select cloud control D and press P. Let's remove keyframes and move to here and go to back and create new passing keyframe. Go to next keyframe, move to right. And for add dynamic shape elements, let's go to window, open animation comes as three and start a pre comps shape elements. And let's use lines, click add. And let's see. Okay, let's press R, chain rotation 180. Okay, move to left. Okay, and go to fill. Let's use fill for lines and change color white. Okay, let's say again. Nice. So guys, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.